Hey guys, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis on server 68. So today we're going to talk about the Arch of Triumph. Uh, what this building does, how you can benefit from it, and just some other information that's inside of this building. So just so you know where it is located on the map, it is right here. So zoom in here, it's right beside the throne. And basically you click on it. And we'll just go through all the buttons here. Obviously, share. You could show your teammates where it is. It's excellent. They should all know where it is. You click on details, and it'll tell you everything in here. Uh, basically, you can find out how many times someone finishes top three, or if they are in the rankings for top 300 of BOC, BOG, or if they have opened their wonder. And inside of it, you get to send flowers. So some people... Uh, if you go on here on the far right this is the people who get wonder and right here the one that's yellow right now this is for all the people who finished this current season top 300 in Battle of Guagamala that's the one on Wednesdays BOG and this one's for BOC so quite a people actually quite a few people on our server actually got uh, top 300 on this one so very impressive and this is all the people who finished top three. So obviously there's only three people. So you can get, get flowers as well. I've gone over that before. And some people will go find their name. They'll go up and down this uh, column if they have Wonder One. And they'll give themselves flowers. I don't know why. It doesn't do anything for you. But I guess, uh, I guess they want to make themselves popular or something. And uh, have more flowers than other people. Some people might even change their name because they're envious of certain people. But uh, we'll just give some flowers out there, help her out. Usually I just give them to the first three here. Whether I like the people or not, I don't care. It's just easy to do. And uh, other things you can do in here as we're looking. If you click on the right here, so uh, I'm now looking at all the people who've unlocked Wonder One. If you look at them very closely, what you can see in here you can see a number two, right? I kind of smudged it out there. But uh, right here, that's a number two. So that means that person has unlocked Wonder 2. And this person has unlocked Wonder 3. And then some people will have just Wonder 1. So we'll try and find someone here. But that's all you can really see here. So right here, if you look at the top person there, Odin Storm, that is Wonder 1. And then you can look at flower records. So you can see everyone who gave flowers today. So you can see the three flowers I just gave. You can see everyone who gave flowers. So you can go and see who they all gave them to. Most people, looks like they just give them to the first three people. I think that's usually pretty common. And then you can go to achievement records on the bottom left here. And the way to read this, so some people... Uh, you can use this to, I guess, evaluate other players, see how many times they finish in the top three in SVS, not top five, because if you look here, look at this blue flag right here, this, this, and then when you go into the achievements, you can see it is the exact same, right? So each of these, and then that one, I'll just circle on different people just so you can see. They all match what these four look like, right? So they mimic that, and that's exactly what you're seeing there when you're looking at achievements. So you can look and see how many times, and you look at the top player here, Mamba and Mini Megs, the top two guys, they have dominated the top three in SVS rankings. You can see that clearly in right beside their names and then you can see how many times they finished in the top 300 for BOC, BOG and what wonder they have. So some people thought that you could see how many times someone finished top 5 or 10 on the server and you can call them out and call them a liar but you actually can't see that. You can only see top 3 so the only way to record anything else like that is to have your own spreadsheet or keep track some other way. But uh, basically, this is it. This is building uh, gives you those flowers and then I'll show you right here. The most important part is the actual flowers and here they are. 
You can see the different gifts you got, you can get. And the most important one is probably stamina. That's what I always hope for. So let's just see. And there I got eight, eight times 50 stamina. So 400 stamina, not bad for just going over and clicking on a building once a day. You can do that and send three flowers. So uh, hope you like this video. It, uh, Hope it helped some people out, get some free stamina. That's probably all that really matters with that thing. I wouldn't put too much thought into it, but thought I would do a video on the Arch of Triumph since uh, some people were asking me about that and uh, did not understand what that building was actually for. So this is Genghis on server 68. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.